Good morning on Tuesday, January 7th. As you can see, uh, John is making huge progress on laying down the first layer of Okume 1088 8th inch plywood on the bottom of this 46 garwood. I'll let John share with you the process he's gone through to get to this point. Well, we had all the panels fit and cut it cotton fitted and uh, we just had to put some 5200 underneath it and then screw it down but of course because it's two different angles it folds one way and it folds the other way it's kind of hard we had to put the washers we had to screw it down with washers to get it to settle in and then after I had it screwed down with washers I countersunk the screws and put in many screws in order to hold it in place there's a lot of pressure on this but after the 5200 uh, adheres then and dries then it'll be all set it won't ever move again here we're just sticking down the last panel uh, you have to take it step by step because the panels are not really they don't really go down in place real easy but it's not too bad there's many screws, many fasteners. And you drill a countersink pilot hole for each one, huh? Well, I'm actually just pilot drilling each one. This layer of plywood is so ah. thin that it, the screw heads sink right into it without a problem. The next layer I'll actually have to countersink every hole. Afternoon, they should be covered. Well, then we'll, on layer. we'll come back this afternoon and uh, check your progress, John. First layer. And now we're done with the starboard side. And we have spoken and come to an agreement with uh, Wes Van Dyne, the owner of this Garwood, that these two planks. Just simply must be released on both sides. We started releasing the transom plank. We took all the screws out last night. And took the transom plank to release so that we can embed it at 5200, but unfortunately, the transom plank is in pretty rough condition. So we'll probably replace the transom plank. And finding that it used to be sealed with canvas, I believe. Yeah, it's an oiled canvas. Yeah, and uh, it has pretty much failed. It took the transom board off, and there was only these two pieces left on the boat. But we'll embed it in 5200, and that'll take care of the seal for below the water line. Yeah. And as a point of reference, the it is this joint right here between the the bottom bow of the frame and the bottom plank of the transom where particularly boats that still have their original bottoms or a traditional bottom boy that's where we see leaking all the time right at that joint and you can see in this case that these boards have been wet and what we'll do is sand them down and clean them off you think we can clean them to the point we can cps them john I think we can. Um, I'm kind of weary of all these, you know, these bones. This has been sanded so much that these bones are very, very thin. And all these fasteners have pretty much failed their 